Hey, hi everyone. This particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to deal with the JSON files in Node.js. Well, in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how we can create a file inside of this. We will store the JSON data, and secondly, we will learn that how we can read a file of JSON data, right? So yeah, let's start. But before starting, make sure that you have this package.json file inside your main folder. If you don't have this, you just need to write npm in it and then press enter. You will get this particular file, right? Now, for performing action, we need a fs module. That is the file system module of Node.js. So for that, we write const fs equals to require. Then put a bracket here. Inside this, we write fs. This fs denotes the file system that we get from the Node.js with the help of this require method and we store it inside this fs variable. Got it? Now, coming forward, now what we will write? We will write that fs dot, since we at first we will create a file that is stores uh, basically the JSON data, right? So we use the write file method, write file, as you can see here. But since we want to store it, right? So at first, let's create a JSON data. Let's say this. So I'm having a user data who, where the name, age, and profession is written, right? Now, st before storing it inside any file, we need to convert this JSON data into the string. That's a very necessary part, right? So for that, we write const JSON string equals to JSON dot stringify. We use the JSON dot stringify method, right? Then a bracket, and inside this bracket, we write our user data, user data, and and then we put comma here and write null comma two, right? Okay. Now coming forward, after this, now we are going to use this particular data. Means after converting this particular JSON data into the string format, we are not going to use this json string because the string format data is stored inside this json string variable right so inside the uh, fs dot write variable sorry fs dot write file we put a bracket here we write the name of the file inside of which we want to store so i want to create a new file that is output dot json right and after that we will actually going to store this particular data right so we will write json string json string here right and after doing this, we need to write a callback function that is function bracket ERR. And after that, inside of this, we will first write that if the error is present in that particular case, you do what? You write console.log bracket. And I if in case of any error, I want the error to be printed inside my terminal. Right. That's why I have written console.log error. But for the debugging of error, we write e error console.error, right? Rather than using console.log. Now we will write else. Inside this, we write console.log bracket. Inside of this, we will write like anything which you want. That is JSON saved successfully. Like this. Uh, put it inside the strings, right? like this got it i hope you understood the concept till now let's first save it and see that whether it's working or not or if there is any error or not right so we'll write node and the name of the main file inside of which the code is written that is script.js so script.js press enter and you can see json saved successfully and we got a json file that is output.json inside of this you can see our JSON data got stored. So this is how actually we store our JSON data in with the help of Node.js, right? Now, we are going to perform the read action also. That now I want to read the data in present inside the JSON file, right? So let's first remove whatever we have written till here. Uh, fine, like this. Now coming forward, now what we need to do? since we have imported the file system, right? So for reading the file, it is very simple. Just you need to do what? fs.read file, fs.read file, put a bracket here. After putting the bracket, we write the name of the file inside of which the JSON data is present. That is output.json, right? So we will write output.json. After that, put a comma. 
and we give UTF-8 which is the optional section but it is required UTF-8 right to get the character library fine and then function and bracket after writing this we are actually this is the callback function so simply the logic where that we have implemented earlier same logic that is if there is a error in that particular case you just print that console dot log error right and sorry not log that we use console dot error right yeah so console dot log error that is error and after that in the else condition you need to understand the things uh, from here also right a very important part is here we use a try, try catch block that is try try catch block like this right now inside of this we first need to parse the data uh, that we have actually stored in the string format right we had stringified the uh, data earlier so we need to parse it before printing it right so just write const data equals to json dot parse this time we use json dot parse put the bracket here inside the bracket we write json uh, okay wait uh, json string right so uh, since uh, we are getting as you can see here i am having a parameter okay the problem is that i have not written the complete parameter that is in the earlier that when we had put a callback function we had written one parameter that is for the error right but after reading the file it will get uh, something right so for that we need to write comma json string you can write anything which you want uh, normally i write json string because i am taking out the json data in the string format right so we are converting this json string like this i hope you get it till now right so we have actually parsed the content of the output.json file now i want to print it so i will simply write console.log and now you print this particular data right so just write data here and in the error section we simply write console.log and since uh, we the error can come only in the case that the data didn't get pass correctly so we will write that error in parsing and then put the comma here and error right like this so this is the complete uh, the code for it i hope you understand the concept till now now let's run it before that let's save it and go to the terminal node script.js press enter and you can see I got the JSON data from the output.json file in my terminal, right? That is name, age, and profession. So this is how we deal with the JSON files in our Node.js. I hope you understood the concept till now. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.